Seems like just the other day we were talking about how planets, the reason we see planets is not because planet, planets are glowing, creating their own energy. It's because planets actually reflect the light from the sun. And it's the same thing with the moon. The only reason we see the moon is not because it's hot or glowing. It's because the light from the sun hits the moon. And then depending upon kind of the configuration of the earth, sun, and moon, then we can actually... Um, see that light from the sun reflect off the moon and with regard to reflectivity the moon actually is good at sucking in the light about what 88 percent of the light that hits the moon is sucked up into its regolith basically and only 12 percent is reflected back into outer space so that's kind of that's interesting it's got what we call low albedo um, the moon, if you're listening to these in order, you actually saw a video talk about lunar phases. And so you're going to want to get a handle on lunar phases. And I believe the video talked about four main lunar phases. It talked about the new moon, it started out anyway, and then the first quarter, full moon, and I think it might have said last quarter, the video. Okay, but... Um, then, it, actually, there are some phases in between, as you can see here. But the reason we see, uh, or how much we see of the sunlit portion, gives us the phase of the moon. So for all of these, for this figure anyway, the sun is over here, not drawn to scale. So here's the sun. So if the, um, I, I kind of like this figure. So here we have actually the sunlit portion of the moon is what we don't see. So it's what we call a new moon, and we have this little figure up here saying you don't see the moon at all. And then we have um, what's called a waxing crescent, okay, but it's on its way to first quarter over here. It's kind of, uh, the moon is at what we call a right angle between the sun and the earth, okay. That gives us our first quarter moon. And then let's go skip back to full moon, back around here if we have a straight line between the sun the earth and the, and the moon, we have a full moon, and then the moon continues, remember it's all about counterclockwise, it, con it continues to move about the earth to orbit the earth, and then when it's over here, again at a right angle, um, we have our last quarter moon. So then the video kind of talked about the terms waxing and waning and crescent and gibbous. Waxing and waning go together. Waxing means it's becoming more illuminated and waning me means it's becoming less illuminated. Now, is the moon really becoming more or less illuminated? No, but the amount that we see in our nighttime sky is less. Um, and then we have crescent and gibbous, and crescent means it's less than a quarter, and gibbous means it's more than a quarter. So, um, yeah, so you're going to want to know these, these phases. And so here is your, uh, here's your question here. And let me just go back here. One way that I remember um, is that what the moon's going to do next is whatever is on the right, so if this is the disk of the moon, whatever is on the right is going to continue or sweep through to the left side. So that's to say if this is illuminated, it's going to continue to uh, becoming illuminated. If that is dark, it's going to be continue getting dark, going from right back to left again. That's how I remember it. So I'll give you a little bit. This is your quiz question for this segment, and you need to uh, list a number. I'll be looking for numbers one through seven, and then tell me which phase these are. And so if you want to, you know, make sure that you write the crescent or gibbous or quarter and then say if it's waxing or waning and then I have a follow-up question so which of the which of the lunar phases did we, that we talked about on the previous slide there are eight of them is missing